Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are about to do a weighted dumbbell workout for a full body strengthening routine. All you need is a light or medium set of dumbbells. I am using three pound dumbbells each. Don't worry if you don't have them, you can use water bottles instead. Shoes are optional and once you're ready, let's get sculpting. Starting with a quick warm up. Legs wide, hip circles. Switch directions. Side to side on hips. Hold to stretch for lat. And switch to the other side. Legs open wider, arms open wide to touch opposite leg. Switch. Bend elbows, straight legs, pulses for forward fold. Getting hold of the elbows and swaying the body side to side. And slowly stacking each vertebra at a time as you come to stand, taking both hands back and going for a slight back bend to forward bend. Back bend to forward bend. Swimmer's arms for some mobility on shoulders, taking backwards and forward. For shoulder rolls, backwards. And shoulder rolls forward. And last but not least, let's stretch the neck, dropping ear to shoulder hold. Switch to the other side. Chin down to chest. And chin up. We're gonna begin with a one minute jog, holding onto your dumbbells or water bottles. Heels lifted off the ground, staying on the balls of your feet, keeping the abs pulled in, and breathing out with your mouth. Let's go 30 seconds. Hammer curls to shoulders for the next one. In for biceps, open for shoulders. Make sure the abs are pulled in and don't swing your dumbbells too much. Stay in control. Twenty seconds of this, keep going. Forward raise, bending your elbows very well. Exhale to lift one hand at a time for 30 seconds. 
Make sure the lift is not above shoulders, always right under. Now lifting both the arms at the same time. Beautiful work on shoulders. On the next one, we're going to target more shoulders, shoulder presses, lifting both arms up, bending the elbows 90 degrees, single arm shoulder presses. Fifteen seconds of this. And switching for both the arms this time. Exhale to lift and lower. Make sure the elbows remain on the right angle. Good job everyone, on the last move for this set, we're getting into tricep kickbacks. You can take both the dumbbells on one hand if you want and kicking the arm behind. Elbow is tucked into the body, leaning forward and engaging the core more. Now let's go switch to the other side. Make sure the elbow is pressed into the body. Beautiful work for triceps, yeah. With that end of first circuit on arms, getting hold of both your elbows and moving side to side for a quick stretch before we begin the second. Twist left to right for hips and upper body. Let's begin our second circuit, this time for legs. Grab your dumbbells, squats, dropping the dumbbells to side and to front. Dropping as low as you can on the glutes and holding the weights a little bit away from the body. Plie squats for the next one. Open your legs nice and wide, toes facing outward to hips. Placing your dumbbells right in front of chest, elbows are bent. Down and up on legs.
Lower as deep as you can. Now let's spice it up a bit on the last 15 seconds, placing your dumbbells on your thighs and go in for burning pulses downwards. Pulse, 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 breathe. I'm sure you're feeling your legs at this point. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Moving on to the next one. Right away, lunges. One leg forward, the other leg back. Roll the shoulder blades behind. Down and up for legs. Weights are held a bit far away from the body. Power in the air. And switch legs. Down and up. Last move on this circuit, going in for leg swings. Feet together, lifting one knee up straight to side, holding the weights right in front of chest, finding your balance, working for legs here. Switch to the other side. And relax with that, we come to the end of circuit two. We're gonna take a 30 seconds break, sip some water, have a breather. We're gonna get back right after this. And let's begin. We're going to do compound moves on the last and final set. Legs and arms combined. Standing legs hip distance apart. Getting to squat, bicep curls to shoulder press. And make sure the elbows are tucked into the body. Thirty seconds of this. Keep going. Lunges to arms on the next one. One leg forward, the other leg taken back. Forward raises with lunge dips. Both the knees are bent 90 degrees when you go down. Thing 
Switch sides. Elbows are slightly bent and soft, so there's no strain on the shoulders. And work it, work it, 10 more seconds. I'm sure the legs and arms are burning. Let's get to the mat this time. Getting into a bird dog with a weight on extended arm. We're gonna go crunches in and out. Take it nice and slow. Working on core here. And switch sides. Lift, crunch to extend. Keep the abs pulled in. And don't forget to breathe. Getting into kneeling this time. For kneeling squats, dropping glutes down to legs and up. Let's work the arms. Shoulder presses up and down. Beautiful compounding work. Core, legs, arms, shoulders, everything on burn. And coming up to standing, going in for courtesy lunges on the next one. Down for courtesy lunge to one side. Extend to chest press. Make sure you're not punching your arms too much, staying soft on the elbows. Almost there to the finish line. Three more moves to go. Plie squats to chest press. Legs are wide open, toes facing outward to hips. Down as deep as you can on the squats. Total body again, legs, arms, chest, back, and lots of core. Thirty seconds to go. Do not stop. Stay with me. Deadlifts for the next one, splitting on legs one behind the other. I'm taking both the dumbbells on one hand, 
for more intensity, anything works. Bending both your knees going down and up. Switch to the other side. Make sure the back is flat, your neck is aligned to the spine and your abs are pulled in. Fifteen seconds to go, keep going. And last and final move for the circuit and the class in the hole. Legs are wide down to play squat punches. Nice quick punches right in front of chest. Let's go as fast as you can. One minute of this. Staying soft on all the joints here. Don't forget to breathe. Twenty seconds, keep going. And we have come to the end of this workout. We'll finish with a quick cool down, getting yourselves on all fours and arching your back for cat and cow. Inhale to hold up. Exhale to roll down, chin down to chest. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Extend your arms right in front, sending glutes down to legs. You can stay on fingertips for more active stretch on the child's pose. Getting down to elbows this time. Pelvic tilts for hips. In, tuck out. Take it slowly. Trying to relax your lower back after all the work that you did. Now twisting for spine, thread in the needle, threading one of your hand under the other. Try to twist as much as you can, hold. Now switch to the other side. Bringing one of your legs to a deep lunge in front, shifting your body weight in front and hold. Groin to quad stretch. Now flex the foot underneath, try to reach back for your hamstrings and calf. Now switch to the other side. Forward to lunge, stretching for quad. and back to flex the foot in front to stretch for hamstrings. Kneeling down to get hold of ankles, a slight back bend to stretch for the back and open for shoulders. And last stretch is a kneeling cat to cow Interlace your fingers, take it right behind your head. 
exhale to round inhale open exhale round and one last one And with that, we have come to the end of the strength training workout. A good job. I really hope that you're feeling pumped and energized. If you like this video, do thumbs it up and leave me your thoughts in the comments below. And do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for moving it. Until next time, take care.